Hey there, people, YouTubers, it's KBRC Hobbies. Anyways, uh, we decided to take this little buggy for a ride. We were well, tempted to, but it broke. <laughs> so, um, I'll show you what broke on it. These little plastic hubs, um, I guess, um, I don't know, maybe the wheels are too heavy. I don't know. They shouldn't be. I mean, they're not very heavy wheels. They're not any heavier than the other ones. But it's kind of a, a piss poor design. There's little things on there. But, anyways, uh, the torque of the motor it broke the these little hubs. I, I crazy glue them back together, but it's not going to hold. So I'm going to have to do once I get my lathe. I mean, I have my lathe in the shop and stuff like that, but just you have a lathe in my hobby room here. I'm going to get a new one, new, uh, another lathe and a milling machine, and we're going to make uh, some hubs here and. Uh, I don't know why these are plastic. I mean, this is a major flaw here, especially this cross piece here. That takes a lot of punishment there. And this this really should be aluminum, or some, well, it should be aluminum, <laughs> no aluminum or steel. But I think I'm making it up aluminum. I think so. It'd be a lot easier. It's a lot lighter and more durable. But this is a problem. So I suspect that these would be a problem anyway. These hubs that go in here, right? So I suspected that they would be. Oops, sorry, a problem. So, um, of course, I got the original hubs on here, but they won't fit these these tires because of the different hubs on there, right? I guess you can make it fit, but it's like kind of a bit of a hassle. So I don't want to be going through that again. So anyway, so I think we're gonna do just gonna make some new hubs out of uh, out of aluminum, machine them down, and do what we need to do. So. I mean, I could probably do this at the shop at work because I have a lathe at work, but eh, it's a hassle. Just have my do my own thing at home, right? So, anyways, that that's that there. So, when you get this uh, uh, the Wild One RC kit, um, this is something you have to think about these here too. If you decide to do any wheel upgrade, you might tear them up. Both of them broke. <laughs> like I just put it on this on the floor, and it's when. <laughs> I'm like what the hell and I and I go anywhere and it broke you can see where it cracked eh? right there okay, I'm gonna focus enough to pick it up there you go split right there the bugger eh? and the seam line right there from the casting right so uh, uh, to me uh, you, you gotta do a better job of this kind of stuff this is this is not acceptable you know the seam line right there right in line with that I mean the seam line should be maybe here or something not in line with this cross piece because here it takes a lot of torque eh? so but anyways a little update on that or not it works fine so <laughs> again I did get the, we got the damn stupid uh, wires backwards so whatever this may be something in the future I should remind myself is to test the motor see the direction of it before I uh, get all in there, but it's not a big deal. I can, I can just go up in the front there in my spaghetti wiring system and uh, redo that, just do the wires. But anyways, the little things, I suspect that things are gonna break, so. And right now I'm working on my exhaust system for it. Let's finish painting it. There's the exhaust. I was gonna use the header, but I can't get it to sit on that um, Frame here, good enough for here. The, sorry, it's kind of dark. I just turn my uh, light on my thing here. Here we go. I tried cutting down the header so it fit in here, but it won't fit. And I actually want the header behind, behind the uh, bumper here. So, and this this new header here I have made up will fit on there. So, anyways, just things, 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 right? So it's gonna be all covered in there and. If you're bouncing into something, it's not going to break that. So, but yeah, there you have it. But yeah, other than that, I'm happy with it so far. I have, <laughs> I have not taken it for a ride yet. I just, just a little bit on the floor here. So, anyways, guys, um, that's a good hitch. <laughs> so, all right, um, yeah. So when we got more here, I'm gonna put this thing back together and kind of call it. Uh, uh, back to repairs 
and uh, once we get our lathe and stuff, when once we get it, do uh, you guys want to see um, a, a, vid a short little video of my shop? Maybe I'll show that to you in the next video here. Hold on. Thanks for watching. See you.